I'm Tony Sklar with BNet TV. We are here at Mobile World Congress 2012 in Barcelona, and I am speaking with Anna Kua Lekina from Guavas. How are you today, sir? Good to see you, Tony. Good, doing well. Great to see you too. And you know, Mobile World Congress is one of my favorite um, uh, conferences to attend um, on the year. Not only just because it's in Barcelona, but it's just so exciting to see all of the technology that we've looked and learned and lived uh, talking about for the last 10 years. Exactly are in the ecosystem and now we're seeing that expansion of the ecosystem pushing mm -hmm. so much and you know now we're looking at the top down and we're starting to plug all the little holes mm -hmm. and the way that we get those definitions are from companies like Guava. So I want you to explain to the people out there in being at TV land what Guava is, where you came from and why you're here at Mobile World Congress. Absolutely. Um, Guavas actually tries to plug all, all of those holes, right? So those holes really kind of, the way that we look at it is, is a lot of holes in data and a lot of these problems that the mobile industry has is really around how do you extract information from data, specifically on the operator side. So we look at operators and we say, you know, you look at kind of the demands that all these mobile apps are placing today, right? I mean, you look at Cisco's report, mobile traffic going to grow by 18-fold, right? Right. And, and that's just an unprecedented growth anywhere, right? And so we look at that on the one hand, one trend. On the other hand, we look at the explosion of different devices, different applications, and networks just kind of suffocating under that demand. We look at this as fundamentally a data problem. Right. And that's what Guavas does. We actually leverage the data that exists inside operator networks and use that data to solve decisioning problems. So, you know, there's a lot of work today on big data analytics, a lot of kind of noise in the big data analytics. What Guavas does is solves operator specific decisioning problems leveraging data assets. So, I always use, I've been using this example a lot throughout this particular conference on camera. The more, the more, there's a big buffet line. The more food that we put on the buffet, the more that the consumer is going to put on their plate because they're paying, you know, they're paying that flat rate, right? So I paid so much dollars, I want to eat. I yeah. want to eat a lot. Yeah. And the more that the dishes start to look delicious, and in that terms, the over-the-top players, right. the more that those things look delicious, the more I want to use them. I want to use Facebook, I want to use YouTube, I want to use Netflix, and I want that data, and I want it all coming because it's available to me. Now... Somebody's got to pay for the CapEx, yep. right? Somebody's got to pay for the OpEx, yep. and when it doesn't work, it's the consumer who suffers. And all they do is they go back and they complain to the operator who has a problem. So they come to companies like Guavas, hey, we've got all your data set here, and the metadata is the most important. What do you do with that? How do you get that to the carrier? How are they looking at it? What are some of the challenges that are involved in, in garnering that? Yeah, so first of all, you know, Guavas, the customers of Guavas are operators everywhere, right? And we've got a lot of traction with the operator community. What we realized is a lot of the gold lies in the network data because that really has usage information. That really tells you, you know, what are, what are subscribers experiencing, what's working, what's not working. So it's really that's the data that needs to be harnessed. The challenge is that data is just humongous. It's, uh, I mean, we're, we're talking petabytes is just kind of the starting point, right? And the only way that, you know, we have, we know um, how to solve data problems is using kind of traditional warehouse technology, right? right? And that's kind of take this data and let's store it all up. And once it's stored, we can ask our questions about it. That doesn't work when you've got petabytes of data. I mean, this, this room is pretty big, but you could fill it up with storage, right? Easily. Just easily. Very quickly. So the challenge really becomes how do you, in a very cost-effective fashion, take all the different data silos that operators have. So there's a lot of varieties of data, there's a lot of volume of data, and there's a lot of high velocity data. Bring that all together and then start solving problems for them. So the Guavas business model has really been around, hey, let's, let's, let's serve the operator community, let's serve them by leveraging all their data assets, and then building analytics applications that they can use. Okay, so it is one aspect to collect the data, yeah. which is your business, right? Is to go out there and grab all that. It's another thing to utilize that data in a fashion that is right for the end user. Correct. Whose responsibility is that? And then are, they, are, are, they, are those data sets being uh, utilized in the fashion that they should? So may, let me make sure I understand your question. Are you, are you asking a question on kind of... Well, this goes out there and you collect all the data. Okay, and you pass it through to back to Sprint, for argument's sake. Is Sprint using that data in, in the right manner? Absolutely. So, you know, uh, 
Our business model is take data within the four walls of the carrier and sell it back to the four walls of the carrier, right? right? So the and and you know the privacy. I think that's what you're really getting towards, I'm, right? No, uh, I'm not necessarily working at the privacy. I'm just making sure that it's one thing to subscribe to uh, collecting the data, which is great. But if they're not utilizing the data to fix the problems, then how exactly are they uh, supposed to? Uh, uh, you know. No, you're absolutely right, and this is why you know. I mean, uh, they could just take it and say, "Great, we got the data. That's really wonderful. We're paying for it, but we're not going to fix the problem." Because because nobody's, we don't have the butts in seats to, you know, um, make sure that people are, are looking at it, and that's a problem. Yep. No, absolutely. And you know, at, at Guavis, we fundamentally believe that the value is in what can you do, what insights can you use, and then thereby improve customer service. So let me give you a couple of examples, right? You talked about uh, data plans, you know, and everybody wanting everything, right? And I think what, one of the things that we're seeing in the industry is, you know, voice is going from, you know unlimited or limited to unlimited and data is going from unlimited to limited right right and and the operators were never kind of never ever thought about this and so today you know you go to like a self care dashboard right if i go to let's say you know my operator and say hey what's my bill like right i'll see a voice tab that'll give me all the distribution of my minutes you know how many were long distance how many were local right. i go to the data tab and it gives me a number right now, I don't know about you, but I have no idea what Angry Birds uses on my phone. I have absolutely no idea. No idea, right? and realistically, in the beginning, it sounded like a good idea to have everything outlined for me until you got a 12-page bill, and you're like, I don't really care how much is the total, right? Exactly. I, I, like, really? And so I, I find myself very frustrated because I, I buy these services from these operators, and I have no idea why I'm being billed something, right? right. And so that's a, that's a data problem from a Guavis lens. So one of the things you can do is if you can collect all that usage data, you can give end customers, you and me, a self-care dashboard. Okay. So that when I go log in and I see, hey, you know what? Oh, that's why I'm getting an overage charge. Oh, that's why I'm actually seeing my bill to, be, to exceed this time because I used Facebook a lot or I use YouTube a lot, right? So that's the kind of problems that operators can really solve using data, and that's where Guavas comes in. Which inevitably, if they're using their data sets correctly, allows them to tailor their plans, uh, their monthly their monthly plans back to the consumers in a proper fashion. Maybe you know it's just a social media type data plan that they've got. Me, you know, the, we've oh, talked yeah. about this quite a bit now. Oh, absolutely, right. I mean, so not only can you, can you kind of improve customer uh, experience by troubleshooting network problems, but like you said, you can have very targeted plans that are built and, and customized to my needs, and. At the end, right, going back to my self-care use case, really helps subscribers, give them that visibility into, you know, why is it that I have this bill? So at the end of the day, it's all about kind of how do you improve customer experience, right? Either through smarter monetization or smarter optimization uh, and, and better customer care. Okay, so um, my next question is going to be surrounding the, you, you're collecting all this data from all, from, from all the carriers and you're giving them a software solution that they're allowed to utilize in a dashboard you know, manner. Um, tell me a little bit about that product and tell me about how you have, you know, where you've come from in the past couple of years and where inevitably that product's going to go in the next couple of years. Yeah, so our, you know, our core technology goes back about a decade, right? And uh, I guess that's before this whole big data world existed, sure. right? And we've been thinking very hard about this problem. You know, we, we think that today, uh, to your point, right, there's a lot of value in having these real-time dashboards that decision makers and operators can use for optimization, for better customer experience improvement and so forth. Where I see the, the you know, the, the evolution happening is, can I take this data and now start doing closed loop solutions. For instance, you know, you've got three drop calls, can I send you a proactive text message and say, sorry, you know, here, I'm gonna give you a refund, right? Now, wouldn't that make you happy, right? It, it kind of make, so those it are the It would make me happy if I got the refund if I wasn't in Spain and it cost me a dollar to receive the text message. So, this is but true, you're, but, 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 but you're right, but again. the idea is correct. Exactly, so I think a lot of these closed loop analytics solutions is really where we'll head towards. Data-driven analytics so that I can engage with customers better. Right. Yeah, so I definitely think that the idea, though, is solid. If, if the carrier are starts, if the consumer understands that the carrier is actually looking after their needs, yep. then they're going to be all right with paying the bill at the end of the month and understanding the services that they're paying for. Exactly, exactly. So it all comes down to kind of leveraging and taking the one asset that operators have. They're very data rich today, right? It's, it's locked in different silos. If I can take all of that and then actually build analytics applications. Okay. 
So I'm, I'm going I'm to jump ahead and say, okay, now where are you collecting the, the data from? So we've got, you know, you got the device and many connected devices coming online now. We can even get into an M2M type situation, but, you know, the idea is that you got this connected device. Um, if it's LTE, if it's, you know, 3G, however that's going to work, you know, are, are you at the edge? Are you in the core? Are you in the backhaul? Where are you in that particular chain in the onload and offload, and how are you collecting that stuff? It's it's a fantastic question and a lot of it is um, you can't collect only in one place. So when I say operators are data rich, I should also say that the data is locked in a thousand different silos, right? right? And really the, the, the hard problem is how do I stitch all these different data sources together? How do I take RAN data? How do I take core data? How do I take access data? How do I take web server logs? How do I take app server logs? How do I glue it all together? And only then I actually get an end-to-end -end view of what exactly is what exactly is the subscriber doing to my network, by which devices, and what app is he consuming, right? That cross-silo view, if you will, of subscriber, device, application, and network is actually missing today. Right. And that view, if you had that, you could make a lot of decisions. So Guavis' philosophy, you know, we don't have probes, we don't do any of that stuff. We begin with the premise that the data exists, which operators have, but the challenge is it's locked away in different silos. So today, you know, we have 100 different collection adapters, we keep adding more, we can interface with pretty much every single network equipment vendor to get the data. We're partnered with three of the top five network equipment vendors. So, you know, and we look at those guys as data generators, sure, if you think absolutely. about it, right? Absolutely. So, because yeah. they're, they're, they are instrumented to generate this data. Right. And, and like I said, we've got lots of adapters so we can fuse very effectively different data sources within the four walls of the operator. Uh, and that's kind of how we look at it. We don't, we don't go in and say, okay, we're, in order for you to get these insights, we're going to go and now put DPI all across your network. Nobody right? wants that. Nobody wants that, right? It has to be light touch, it has to be non-invasive, and it has to respect the fact that the operators already have this data. But it's hard to actually extract intelligence from it in a cost-effective fashion. And that's what Guavis brings to the market. Okay, so, in, in, in summary here, why are you at Mobile World Congress and what are you hoping to achieve out of being here in this, you know, in, in such a wonderful forum? Well, like you, like you, Tony. You know, uh, we're always here to learn, right? Sure. So this this is an exciting time in the market, exciting time in the industry. Uh, we're obviously having a lot of interest from a lot of our customer partners over here. So uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but we're in, you know, three of the top four uh, U.S. mobile operators, three of the top four backbone uh, operators. So we are we are seeing that success kind of. Um, being, being kind of expanded here in Europe. We also are opening Europe. Uh, we're opening, uh, uh, expanding into Europe right now. So we're here, like, like everybody else, to learn, right? To, to network, uh, and of course, you know, take advantage of all the customer traction that we're getting. You know, I'm in, in sort of in, in finale here, it's so great to have these kind of problems, to have these, you know, I don't want to only call, call them problems, but they do exist within the ecosystem. But it's, again, it's all the stuff that we've talked about for years and years and years, you know, and the technology is in the hands of the consumer now, and we're there, and so now we're starting to plug the holes, and having the right set of tools to make the informed decisions to plug the holes is a very important portion of the value chain, and it's seems in my particular opinion that those are the companies who are going to rise to the top in the next number of years here because they're going to be very heavily weighted on. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I think, like I said, this is an exciting time for the market, uh, exciting time in, 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 in industry. And I do honestly believe that, you know, the one asset that operators aren't fully leveraging is their data, you know. So, and that's what Guavis' founding thesis is. If you you really need new technology, but you can't just stop at technology. You've got to start using the technology to solve some hard business problems that right. operators have, either on the network side or the customer care side, like we were talking, right? So the Guavis business is, hey, let's let's take that take those data assets that you have, Mr. Operator, and then let's let's fundamentally solve some of your key hard business problems, and in the end, hopefully make make the telecom experience a useful experience. A uh, an entertaining experience. You're going right? to continue to keep ARPU where it's at, wherever the customer has to be happy about exactly. it, so I appreciate it. Anikul, I appreciate the opportunity to speak with you today at Mobile World Congress. I hope we get a chance for another update in the future. CTIA is just around the corner, so uh, hopefully we'll be able to sit down and have another chat about it. Great, thanks for having me. Appreciate Thank it. You. I've been speaking with Anikul Akina from Guavas here at Mobile World Congress. I am Tony Sklar with BNET TV.